Mia is asleep. I have actually done myself a favour. I woke up this morning, I got ready and I've actually edited the vlog already which is really nice because it means that this afternoon I won't be rushing and worried about getting a vlog up because it'll all be done so I'm just exporting that now that I'm going to set it to upload for later on today so it's very nice. I think I just need to start doing that now for the last couple of vlogs that I left. Um, oh my god there's like I think less than 10 vlogs like nine vlogs left ah, it's, it's crazy I you know what, even if I stop now which I wouldn't dare because I'm sure there's like three of you that would kill me um, and <laughs> even if I did stop now I am just so delighted with the fact that I actually put up so many consistent vlogs because if you guys have been like a subscriber for a long time you know that it's not my strong point to put up vlogs and then stick with it <laughs> I'm always like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it, and then I start doing it. But I think this time it's just so different because I'm on maternity leave and I've actually got the time at home. Like I can do it. Because he's waiting to hear back from his barber. He's taking absolutely forever because he needs to go get a haircut, and he's just not like replying. <laughs> So he's trying to book an appointment in and Mia's down for a nap now and I need to ring my sister because she said she wanted to go shopping today and I know it sounds crazy because she's like you girl you are always shopping but it's not that it's she needs to get stuff and I need I mentioned in the last vlog I need concealer um, and I just need like wrapping paper for Marcus's family's Christmas presents so it'd be nice just to get that because I had to look online I can't tell if it works out more expensive or cheaper to get it like from Amazon so I just kind of want to go and see what they have um, the only thing I would like to look at is Marcus and I really want some dressing gowns uh, and apparently Marcus and Spencer's dressing gowns are supposed to be really cosy everyone I've killed my hair and please tell me what was the point look at my hair there's no curl in that barely even a wave there was no point even adding that heat to my hair this morning it is an absolute i'm so sick of my hair at the moment i think i'm just gonna start to put it up for a long time again because the actual health like it's got volume everything is there but it's just not holding any sort of style at all which is what's frustrating me i mean my volumes come back in it but the style is just not being held in my hair at all at the minute i mean it's my hair is very silky at the moment so that's probably why but yeah it used to be oh, i used to have like quite silky hair before and it still held although it don't look that silky there it held curls quite well but at the minute it's just not and i don't know if it's because it's still so thin um because obviously i've waited for hair to grow back and i've been getting you must have seen it in the last vlog how bad it was like the hairs up there they're just sticking out i just completely forgot to even gel them down i just couldn't be bothered to be honest so yeah i'm waiting for all my new hairs growing through and it's gonna be a long process but i'm just glad it's actually coming back through now hi everyone uh i've managed to quickly tidy the dressing room there's no point me showing you because it wasn't like a massive clean that i needed to just pick up a couple of things off the floor i'm now gonna go grab me here i'm gonna film a quick tiktok but i just want to show you my cord i'm wearing today this is from in the style and it's with the naomi Jenis collab and i saw this online i was like i have to get it. it is so incredibly comfortable i feel like it's a timeless sort of set because you've got your high sort of it's got a high neck with the shell buttons on there and it's just grey ribbed and it's just a very timeless piece that you can wear definitely one of those where you could either lounge about in the house I kind of personally feel like it's too nice to lounge about in the house I think it is like more of an out piece I have been lounging about in it and I love it but I don't want to ruin it so I'll be wearing it out the sleeves are really long so if long sleeves are not your thing if they irritate you it's probably not for you because I have to do that for my fingers to come out but for me I love it I love anything you guys know I like my long sleeves it's a beautiful cord set and then you've got your drawstrings there too you can sort of have it tucked in if you wanted to show your waist a little bit more but I'm quite happy with just having it over for quite a loose fit I don't know what jacket I'm going to throw on top just yet I might go for either a like a brown one or I might just go for black and see which one goes with the outfit better hello everyone I've just got meme schemes in the car with me uh, me and I are off to the shopping because I was going to meet my sister I think she just wanted some company and I just thought well I've got all my work done this morning the house could have done with the clean but the house can always 
do with clean so I just thought I will meet her there and like I said I needed concealer and I didn't end up ordering it online and I've literally squeezed the life out the very last drop out of it so I know I can't get away with it tomorrow so it's best I just be a little bit sensible and go pick it up I'm really mad though I could not find my card wallet and I don't know what I've done with it so I need to go home and try and find that because I don't think I've lost it I am also really mad because and I didn't want to admit this because I feel like if I say it out loud it makes it worse but I've burnt the carpet a little bit in the dressing room and it's really got to me like I was really upset about it and not because oh it's a carpet is a material thing but because of how stupid it was I cleaned my slipper and then I just wanted to dry it so I was, I was doing it with the hair dryer. I was drying my slipper and then I noticed on three separate spots the hair dryer must have been melting the carpet and honestly I'm devastated because our carpet is not even a year old and it's not even like I've tried like all sorts and Mark's like we can just cut a square piece out and put it there I was like yeah fair enough we can do that but for now I was like you know what I think I'm just I'm oh, sorry yeah, I think for now I just want a rug there just to stop any future bins I mean if a rug bins it's not really that bothered because you can always just replace them easy carpet can't do it as easy so I was just yeah it's not been I mean these things happen so I can't sit and cry over it but it's just not very nice if anyone's been in that situation you know where you feel it you're like oh and also I'm scared of my mum seeing it it's not even her house but I'm petrified because I know of the lecture I'll get for it so I just need to get a carpet in like a rug ASAP and cover it up <laughs> I was just there proper trying to like because I've burnt it once before slightly and I managed to cover it up and you could not even see it like I cut the fibres a little bit and it was absolutely fine but this time it's too deep in there and I can't do that like I've done it a little bit so it looks a bit better but it takes a lot of concentration and a lot of work whereas Monica said we can just grab um, go get the same carpet and cut a square out and then replace it like that but yeah it's a lot of effort and I don't want to do that I literally do just think maybe just get a rug and I'm thinking of even getting like a footstool in the centre of because you guys know I've been wanting to finish my dressing room off for ages just not sure what to do with it at one point I was contemplating do I get a dressing table in there and, or do I get a desk in there whatever it is and I think what I've decided is that I might just get the rug and then I might, my sister ordered from I think Facebook Marketplace she found a place that custom makes like you know them long footstools um, and generally people have them like in the middle of their dressing room like as a seat so I contemplated just getting the rug and maybe having that in the middle and just making it a little bit more like boutique-esque but I'd have to really sort the drawers out because they do not look like a boutique they look like a pound shop at the minute <laughs> Luckily, Marcus didn't say anything. He's like, oh, you know, these things happen. And I just thought, oh, that's suspicious. So I was expecting him to like proper lay into me, like, what have you done? But he's been very nice about it. So it just makes me think either he's keeping score for one day when he breaks something, so then I can't say anything because he never said anything about the carpet, or he's already done something, so he's waiting for later on to like fess up about it. Oh, he's just a nice husband and I'm a complete cow for thinking like that. So I might need to go to TK Maxx. I've just seen this rug in the shopping centre that I might get. Alright guys, I'm home now and this is where I melted the carpet like I told you. So I've had something similar before but I managed, like you can't even spot it on here wherever I did it. But this is just bad. In three places, you actually, no one understands how sad I am about this. If I kept at it, I could probably disguise it a little bit more. But when I was in the shopping centre, I found a rug. Couldn't tell you what the shop's called. Never seen it before in my life. I refused to go in. My sister wanted to go in and then... Because it just looked rubbish. Honestly, I don't even know what it's called. I think it's new. Um, so, yeah, I ended up picking up this rug in sale. So, I'm going to show you. So, this is the rug. I wanted to tidy up this room before I put it down. Marcus was eager to see it. It looked... Obviously, it's brighter when there's daylight. Marcus said it looks like we've spilt stuff on it. I like it. I think it's nice. It goes sort of well with this room. And I think I'm just going to get something in the middle, like one of them footstool things made in the middle and try to make this dressing room a little bit more pretty hi my lovelies apologies if it's a little bit dark i have just jumped on instagram stories and i was like you know what i never really get to this anymore i'm gonna style some outfits you guys want to see it and i think from last time i checked some people said yes so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and do that i've got like these buttons and some boots that i bought recently that i've not styled up yet and because it's been so miserable outside i've not had the chance to 
at all actually i don't really know how you style vans laces so what i thought i'd maybe go and do this evening because i've not really been on my stories either is go ahead and style up some outfits on my instagram stories because i've not done that in ages and because it's so cold outside i'm not really been going out and taking outfit pictures so i just thought it'd be a nice way to do them now i don't know how you style these vans laces oh, i wish they just did them for you in store why don't they just do them for you in store how'd you do it let's watch a youtube that was a youtube video for absolutely everything guys i just showed this outfit on instagram stories and i forgot to write it for you guys uh so it's this cord that i had earlier but i had this jacket see it's gonna be rubbish because i can't show you let me show you in the mirror i took that one off because i was gonna get changed i was like ah i've not shown the vlog so this is one of the first outfits i put together i just thought this would be a cute one for if i was like going for a walk with mia layer up underneath it and it'd be a really nice cozy chilled a very sunday but stylish outfit so i'm i'm actually very much in love with it but i do need to get smaller vans because these are a little bit big for me I'm terrible you guys i think i showed you one outfit and now mia's side she wants to go to bed so i'm put my baby girl to bed and catch up with you afterwards okay hey now it's not cod time. I told you I was jumping out early. Wow, you're nasty. See, Don't want time with your family. You just want to play cod all the time. Where's my dinner? In the uh, thingy. Where? You know you're going to have dinner with me? I've eaten. I don't know how long no. you... No! No, I've, I've, I've fed um, me a cow for. And a little bit for myself. You actually make me have dinner on my own with a poorly baby? I don't think Mia's that well by the way, she's got a bit of a runny nose, she's it's a cold, teething. But she had it, didn't she? You had your cow paw. Yeah, she's had a cow paw. That's going to make her knock out. Hopefully it'll put I can't believe you were... I didn't know how long you were upstairs. I did text you saying dinner's ready and you didn't text me back. So I thought, okay. I'd received no such text. I didn't I didn't even sit down and eat it. I, I received I, I, no such... Okay, I received a text, but still. What time was that? Come on. That was only 15 minutes ago. You inhaled your food and... In my defence, I'm Asian. In my household, my mum told me the food was ready 45 minutes before it actually was. So I thought the same rules apply here. In my defence, I had three fish fingers. I had six. But with the speed that I eat, it's like eating them. He inhales his food. I can't believe you. I can't believe you're doing me over for cod. I'm not doing you over Genuinely. for Genuinely. <laughs> Your attitude and actions are different. Okay, okay, okay. So last night you did Come here, come here, come here. Come here. No, no. Come to the people, explain to the people, I'm not the judge here, Ex uh, defend your case. Last night, Erisa sold me out for her sisters. Today, in the day, Erisa sold me out for her sisters. This no, is not no, too dramatic. No, that, no doubt whilst I'm playing card, I'll hear her sisters, even though they're not well, here. People are going to be like, he really hates her sisters. Even though they're not here, I'll hear them. What is your beef against my fam? No beef, no beef. I Get me Heinz, I don't want we that. We don't have Heinz. How do we not have Heinz? I don't know, but I can tell you right now that I don't like ketchup. I'm not the one that bought it, so don't start kicking up a fuss. You're the one that bought no, it. No, I wouldn't have bought that. I don't buy anything that's not Heinz. I'm a bit of a snob when it comes to condiments. Previously with Mia, she was that bad at having cow pollen or anything other than the milk. She'd spit it out straight away, so you'd have to wait for, for her to be crying that much and just go and squirt the thing down her throat so she had no choice but to drink it. It's either that or it went in her lung. I'm not sure she's here, she's okay. <laughs> she's not been coughing fluid up. Did she have it all right then? I just, I just like, I drip fed it, it's little bits. Oh, she took like a little champ. Yeah. Maybe she's sent. But then I, I was eating it with her. Did you have some too? I had 2.5 but every five that she had. No, she had five. I, I had a little bit. I'll, I'll at the end of it. <laughs> Marcus is in. They have just got general colds, but... Uh, yeah, I didn't realise that me had caught it until it, as we were coming home, bless her. got me to sleep which is good because I've got fibers on my lip 
So it's nice to get Mia down to sleep because she's not well, like I said. I do actually want to try and get to bed early today, guys. You know I've been saying it for absolutely ages, haven't I? I've been wanting to get to bed, but I'm so worried because I don't think I've done anything in this vlog. So I'm really sorry if I haven't, and it's just been me constantly talking to the camera. And I'm also, I'm such a rubbish person. I didn't even show you the outfits that I ended up putting together, but I can't remember if I've shown you this. I can't link this shirt and jacket because I think it's like a jacket. It's out of stock. I think they're sold out pretty much straight away. So I'm quite happy I got my hands on one. I love the colours. It's like a navy with like brown thread. Um, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Very soft material. Massive pockets. Love that. I've been showing my phone straight in. I've only worn this in the house by the way. And then I paired it with some leggings and some black boots on, in, on Instagram. And these are the boots that I paired them with. They look absolutely huge. I know I've got like big flippers on about size five or six these look absolutely huge and yeah i paired it with that and look great and i also thought you pair it with like some gray joggers it looks really nice and then i paired the gray joggers with some nice air forces that marcus bought me i know i said this about a lot of my outfits but like a cool mom outfit cool mom outfit it's the vibes i'm going for i've got a kid i still want to look cool good morning everyone so i apologize because yesterday's vlog i had to cut it short mia was very unwell we basically well i had to cuddle her all night marcus was up all night with me and she's just not very well uh, she seems a lot better this morning she still got a bit of a cold but she does seem a lot better so it's gonna have to take care of you aren't we yes we are she's got like a bunny nose and whatnot i mean i think it's also part of teething that she's going through it so i don't actually know what i'm doing with yesterday's vlog i might not even put up a vlog because i actually did nothing or i might try and add a little bit this morning and then start the new vlog today it's all very up in the air and whatever i decide to do that's the way you'll be seeing it she's having a quick play in her little seat her meme scheme's going for her to tire herself out so she can go down for her first nap and when she wakes up, I'm going to try and give her some porridge. She just had milk this morning, but I don't really think she's in the mood for eating right now. Right, everyone, well, so Mia is not letting me put her down. So I'm trying to figure out a way to settle her. So I can sort this pile of clothes out in this room, and they've been there what feels like six weeks. Um, so I'm going to try and get her settled. She don't want to. She just wants to be held at the minute. Because I think she's just getting a little bit too... Well, she's ill, isn't she? So I think I just want to... She's just one of those where she just wants to be held constantly at the minute. Um, and I'm going to try and sort these clothes out and everything. I really need to get a bit sorted in the kitchen and everything too. So Marcus and I can get to doing some work. Now, a couple of things I feel like I need to point out. Number one, that's not my folding skills. A normal person would sort out their clothes here, then just put them where they need to be upstairs. I sort them out as to what belongs to who first, like Mia and the parents, and then I go upstairs and I sort them out again. Don't know why I make it harder on myself, but I just do. And also, all them clothes, that wasn't how they were dried, okay? As they were drying, I was just piling them on there, um, because they would never dry if they piled up like that. So that's all done now. Uh, Marcus is at the shower, I believe. So I'm going to go drop these clothes off upstairs so I can sort them out. And hopefully he's going to come down. And then we, like I said, we've got a TikTok to film. And we're going to do a little bit of work together and see how we get on. I might need part to get some coffees, but that'll probably be on the next vlog you see. I just wanted to jump on here just for a little bit longer. Because I know yesterday wasn't too interesting. I know watching me sort out washing and just general day-to-day -day stuff isn't that interesting either but I feel like I needed to add a little bit more to it and with a poorly baby it just obviously makes it a little bit harder my whole plan was to spend 
last night with you and sort of you know uh vlog a little bit more then but i couldn't put mia down for more than five minutes so obviously she's my priority and i know you guys will understand and appreciate that but i think for now i am gonna leave the vlog here i am so incredibly sorry if it was an absolutely rubbish vlog there's not a lot i could do but hopefully you'll see me looking the exact same in the next vlog because i'm gonna start that vlog today <laughs> uh, it's all very confusing but it makes sense somewhat in my head and Oh, my baby girl. Right, I'm going to go and have a bit of time with me now before I crack on with the rest of the day. So I hope you're all having a lovely day or you've had a lovely day when you've seen this. And I'll catch up with you on the next one. Bye. See ya.